Hello, welcome to part 4 of this series. This is the final part of this series. Moving to our 76th question. Newton's first law of motion is applicable to which phase of the gate cycle? Option A, stance phase. Option B, swing phase. Option C, mid stance. Option D, push off. And the answer is... Option B, swing phase. Moving to our 77th question. For meniscus injury, there should be Option A. Shear of compressed knee Option B. Torsion of the compressed knee Option C. Shear and torsion of the knee Option D. Torsion of the extended knee And the answer is Option B. Torsion of the compressed knee Moving to our 78th question Inversion eversion component is more in Option A. Angle joint. Option B. Mid tarsal joint. Option C. Subtalar joint. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is... Option C. Subtalar joint. Moving to our 79th question. Larger and possible stronger bone is possible. Option A. Excising in adulthood. Option B. Excising in childhood. Option C. Excising after growth phase. Option D. Remaining physically active in the childhood and adulthood. And the answer is... Option B. Excising in childhood. Moving to our 80th question. The coupling movement in thoracic spine is dash. Option A. Side flexion and rotation occurs in the same direction. Option B. Side flexion and rotation occurs in the opposite direction. Option C. Direction depends on the cervical spine flexion or extension position. Option D. Side flexion and rotation occurs independently. And the answer is... Option B. Side flexion and rotation occurs in the opposite direction. Moving to our 81st question, the capability of motor unit excising force is measured from Option A, the maximum twitch force Option B, peak force of the fuse tetanus Option Z, both A and B Option D, fuse tetanus And the answer is Option B, peak force of fuse tetanus Moving to our 82nd question which muscle has the most efficient working capacity among the elbow flexors? Option A. Biceps brachii Option B. Brachialis Option C. Brachioradialis Option D. Almost the same work is done by all the muscles And the answer is Option C. Brachioradialis Moving to our 83rd question A person who is standing on both of their feet is stable when Option A. Their base of support is as wide as comfortably possible. Option B. Their center of gravity is above their base of support. Option C. Their center of gravity is close to their base of support. Option D. The position of their center of gravity and base of support coincide. And the answer is... Option A. Their base of support is wide as is comfortably possible. Moving to our 84th question, the ligament that extends from the inferior edge of the ulnar radial nodes to insert into the neck of radius is Option A. Annular ligament Option B. Quadrate ligament Option C. Oblique cord Option D. None of the above And the answer is Option B. Quadrate ligament Moving to our 85th question, joint reaction force is Option A. Compressive force in the joint Option B. Compressive force and muscle compressive force Option C. Compressive force and muscle rotatory force Option D. Compressive force of the muscle and other soft tissues And the answer is Option B. Compressive force and the muscle compressive force Moving to our 86th question At slow speed injury, the failure of ligament results in Option A. Ligament disruption. Option B. Avulsion. Option C. Complete tear. Option D. Mild tear. And the answer is Option B. Avulsion. Moving to our 87th question. The hip joint concurrence is best in Option A. Flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. 
ऑप्शन बी फ्लेक्शन आपडेक्शन एंड एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन ऑप्शन सी एक्सटेंशन आपडेक्शन एंड एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन ऑप्शन डी एक्सटेंशन आडेक्शन एंड इंटरनल रोटेशन एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फ्लेक्शन अपडेक्शन एंड एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन मूविंग टू अवर एटी एथ क्वेश्चन द स्ट्रेचर दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू द अपनॉर्मल लैटरल फोर्स ऑफ द पेटेला ऑप्शन ए टी एफ एल टेंस ऑफ फेशियल एटा ऑप्शन बी आई टी बैंड ऑप्शन सी एल सी एल दैट्स लैटरल को लैटरल रिकमेंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द एब एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी आई टी बैंड Moving to our 89th question, in flexed knee rotation in either direction, stretches which stretcher? Any ACL and PCL. That's anterior cruciate ligament and posterior cruciate ligament. Option B, ACL. Option C, medial collateral ligament. That's MCL. Option D, LCL. That's lateral collateral ligament. And the answer is ACL and PCL. Moving to our 90th question, tendons fail at an option A, 50 percentage increase in the length. Option B, 8 percentage increase in the length. Option C, 12 percentage increase in the length. Option D, 4 percentage increase in the length. And the answer is option B, 8 percentage increase in the length. Moving to our 91st question. The radial ulnar joint is a diarthroidal uniaxial joint of variety. Option A, saddle. Option B, plane. Option C, pivot. Option D, condyloid. And the answer is option C, pivot. Moving to our 92nd question. The carpal arch is supported by a ligament known as Option A carpal ligament option B flexor retinaculum option C transverse ligament option D none of the above and the answer is option B flexor retinaculum moving to our 93rd question static stabilization of the glenohumeral articular surface is provided by option A coracohumeral ligament option b coracoclavicular ligament option b superior joint capsule option d glenoid labrum and capsular ligamentous components and the answer is option d glenoid labrum and capsular ligamentous components moving to our 94th question extensor retinaculum in the knee joint Option A, a part of capsule. Option B, a part of extensor mechanism. Option C, a part of quadriceps tendon. Option D, none. And the answer is option C, a part of quadriceps tendon. Moving to our ninety-fifth question, the most energy-efficient gait is option A, walking on usual walking habit. Option B, walking with a slower speed. Option C. walk with brisk walk option d none of the above and the answer is option c with brisk walk moving to our 96th question muscle is most efficient in dash range option a outer range option b outer part of the middle option c inner option d inner part of the middle and the answer is option b outer part of the middle moving to our 97th question pronation twist the calcaneum undergoes option a supination option b pronation option c abduction option d adduction and the answer is option a supination moving to our 98th question the sequence of motor unit recruitment is predetermined at option a brain system level option b basal ganglia level option c cerebellar level option d spinal level and the answer is option d spinal level moving to our 99th question the concave convex rule depicts if the bone with convex joint surface moves on the bone with concavity the convex surface 
option a move in the opposite direction to the bond segment option b moves in the same direction to the bond segment option c halfway in opposite direction and another halfway in the same direction to the bond segment option d none and the answer is option a moves in the opposite direction to the bond segment moving to our 100th question for runners a reduction of impact peak load can be achieved by option a four feet striking option b using the suitable running shoe option c reducing the weight option d all of the above and the answer is option d all of the above so that's all for today if you need clarification for any of the question do comment in the comment box so this is the end of this series i will be back with a new topic soon so do subscribe to this channel thank you